I knew it. Looks like the memories we regained are true after all. The three wards were all in the same place. Then... Carlos! Akane. Junpei. And Mira, and Eric. And you're... Sean, right? Carlos, what happened? Proof of friendship. <laughs> anyway, what are you guys doing here? According to the schedule, C Team and Q Team should both still be asleep. We took a page out of your book and did what you did. We used the cards to keep the bracelet needle from injecting us. So, does that mean...? Yeah. I remember everything. I do too. Junpei and I as well. Uh, over the past few hours, uh, we got back the memories we forgot. Well, to be more accurate, it's more like we accessed the morphogenetic field and downloaded all of them. Then, you have the other history's memories, too? Yes. Then, you're like us. But, why? Hold up. Eric and I are different. Yeah. We didn't gain memories from other histories. Then neither of you got injected? No. We're the same as Carlos and the others. I told them. Um, maybe I'll start from the beginning? First, so I could run the program in the Force Quit Box, I accessed the Central Control Computer. Then, I briefly turned off the communication network. That way, I stopped the surveillance cameras from sending any data to Zero. I didn't want Zero to catch on to what we were doing. And that's when Sean let us in on the truth of what's going on here. We went over to the transporter room and picked up two cards. Before the injection, we each slipped one between our wrist and bracelet. Okay, now you two make sense. But what about you, Sean? Well, you probably already know, but I'm a robot. Being injected does nothing to me. Every time the time limit approached, I was forced to go into sleep mode. Then, my memories from the previous 90 minutes were deleted. I didn't want that to happen, so... You remember me saying I accessed the computer? Well, I hacked my own system, too. He said he managed to cancel the forced sleep and delete functions. What about C-Team, then? We couldn't interrupt the surveillance cameras, so we had to be sneaky instead. First, Carlos pushed me down and climbed on top of me. He what? I, it was, it, it was just an act. I was only pretending to do it. Carlos used that moment to whisper in my ear. He said to go to the transporter room and grab the cards in there. But, if I just let her go like that, it looks suspicious. So Junpei and I stayed behind to get Zero's undivided attention. I casually invited Junpei to the power room. You can see the result of our conversation. You should have told me what was up. If I had, then Zero would have figured it out. You... You look like you'd be a crap actor. Yeah. And after that? We met Akane in the lounge. We hid from the cameras and each got a card for her. Oh. 
Um, sorry, but could I get confirmation on something? Everyone knows what all happened in the other histories, right? Even you, Mira and Eric? Didn't Eric say so earlier? Sean told us everything. But wait, why? Why what? Why do we know about the other histories? Well, that's probably... You want to know? Maybe it's actually zero. You are free to call me by my given name, which is Delta. <sighs> There's no need to look so threatening. You were the one who named me, Diana. It doesn't matter. I shall answer your question. Carlos, Kane, Junpei, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. All six of you know that you are shifters, correct? Mm -hmm. Think back on your path to this very moment. Did you arrive in this history by following a normal flow of time? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. You jumped in from another history using your shift abilities. And it wasn't just this once. You have been shifting back and forth many, many times. From one point in space time. Jumping from one tree branch to another. You have forgotten that fact, perhaps as a result of the medicine, or as one of the side effects of shifting. Regardless, your memories have been kept firmly intact within the morphogenetic field. It is simply that the six of you regained the memories of those times. One small trigger, and the levy preventing you from remembering collapsed. Sean is a similar case. However, his thought center is located within the quantum computer, so I suppose it's slightly different from you. What about me and Mira? You are both like me, in that we do not have the ability to shift. You don't? Mm -mm. I have another power instead. The power to mind hack. Mind hack? I am able to read other people's minds. I know the thoughts and ideas that they that's why I know exactly what Phi is trying to do right now. Step away from that device, Phi. Then, when we blocked the injection... I saw through your ruse. <sighs> then why did you... I wanted all of you to play the final decision game. The final? Decision game? I find human decisions fascinating. More specifically, the world branching that occurs as a result. I already mentioned that I am unable to shift. But after looking inside millions of minds, I learned one thing. There are people in this world with the ability to jump between histories. That shifters exist. Hence, why I know so much about these parallel worlds. 
You did all this? Because you were curious? When a person does something significant, it's difficult to boil the reason down to one word. Their motives are often very complex. It is the same now. To fulfill several objectives, it was necessary to trap all of you in here. So why did you do it? You want to know? It is so you give birth to Phi and myself, Diana. Uh, what do you mean? Phi and I are the children of Diana and Sigma. Phi is... Wait! <laughs> They're children? November 16th, 2029. Phi and I were born in this shelter. This was another history, of course. Shortly after, the atomic data that makes up our bodies was transported to April 1904. The transporter was located in a German research facility at that time. Our bodies reconstructed and regenerated in the export pods at that facility. But that would mean you're actually... I'm 124. You're joking. But Phi is... A German researcher sent her to 2008. Records indicate that she was part of an experiment. You're saying Phi jumped back in time from 2029 to the year 1904, and then forward again to 2008? Technically, what was sent both times was simply the data maker I heard that in 2008, the device was being studied in an American facility. <sighs> That's when an old couple of new researchers took me in. We've gone off topic. But yes, that was one of the main things. Everything that occurred here helped create Phi and myself. And when I say that, I am including all of the other histories. If I hadn't trapped the group of you here, then Phi and I would have never been born in our current forms. Your current forms? Sean, you should already know about epigenetics. You see, environmental factors determine which switches are activated within the genetic code. Reproductive cells are the same. Or perhaps I should say that the reproductive cells are the ones most affected. Oh, I get it. That's why you made Diana and Sigma play the decision game. What do you mean? By backing them into a crisis situation, he caused an epigenetic change within their reproductive cells. I think that's why their children were born with unique powers. Gold star. This is the reason I have my mind abilities. Phi was affected as well. You were born a shifter. Decisions will bring you to life. That is why the decision games were held. So that the five of me here now would materialize exactly the way we are. 
No, but... Okay, so I get why you had to have Diana and Sigma go through life or death decisions. But the rest of us had nothing to do with... I already told you. My motives are complex. What? Wait, there's more? What? Oh no! The hell? What is this? <laughs> hey, answer me! What's with that announcement? Must I explain? This shelter will soon explode. You've worked so hard only to turn on this facility's self destruct mechanism. Sean, access the central control computer. It's no use. Once the force quit program has been activated, there is no possible way to reverse it. Then what can we do? I will tell you one good, no, two good things. First, I suggest checking behind the bar counter. Oh. No! Why would you... Gab... Gab's been... Did you kill Gab? Yes, with the shotgun you're holding. There wasn't much life left in him anyway. You monster! I never expected to hear that coming from you, Shaw. So what's the other thing? You had two things to tell us. I have the ability to mind hack. We already know that! But I have not told you everything I have. Reading other people's thoughts isn't the only thing I can do with mind hacking. It only lasts a moment. But I am able to control someone's body as I wish. Like this. game. You have two choices. One, to stay here and wait to die. The, uh, the other is... The other... What's the other option? What's the other option? Five minutes until explosion. 
Well, what should we do? What about the X door? And how exactly should we open it? Unless six people die, it's gonna stay closed. Or should we start killing each other now? Mira? I have an idea. Which is? We're going to shift, all of us, together. Hey, hold on. Like, jumping to another history? But... Eric and I... I'm sure it will be fine. Remember what I said? Human consciousness may be a result of quantum effects in the brain. Oh, yeah. You said if certain conditions are met, we can also... What are the conditions? First, you need to be exposed to danger. And the other one is... To be in the vicinity of a group of shifters. I get it. We'll resonate, and then Mira and Eric can... But which history are we going to jump to? None of the similar histories will work. One team is likely to be dead after the vote. And... We can't shift if there are no bodies for us to jump to, right? Ben... We need to jump to where all of us are alive. When we're all alive? Do you mean... The history where we won the coin toss. I'm not sure I get it all, but it's a good idea. What are you saying? There's no way we could do that. Why not? Shift isn't simply jumping into bodies in different histories. Our consciousnesses swap places. Ours for theirs. We'll be forcing our other selves into these bodies, and they'll die without knowing why. Yeah, and what's wrong with that? What? Well, they're all living without a care off in another history, yeah? One time? They do the coin toss once and win? Don't you think that's unfair? Mira, you're saying they, but we're talking about ourselves here. Well, we should consider if those people really are us. Good point. If we assume that we here are the true versions, then... The us and the other history are essentially strangers. Even more of a reason not to. If we shift to that history, we're tossing the others under the bus to save ourselves. The us in that history have done nothing wrong. I mean, the only thing they did was win at a coin toss. You could say the same for us. The only thing we did was lose a coin toss. Even so, We've had to go through so much shit! We've been forced to put our lives on the line! Besides, aren't the bodies in the other histories ours anyway? Then why should we second-guess ourselves? Huh... Um... here and wait for our deaths or survive by sacrificing our other selves in another history so that's what the bastard meant final decision game Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. 
neither can I. It somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid? we do it? We're not wearing the bracelet, so I, I don't know the time, but... Judging by the position of the sun, it's probably noonish. And the date? How would I know? Hey, Mira. Eric. Do you remember me? Yeah. I definitely remember you. Then we really did! Oh, it must have worked. Life is unfair, don't you think? You bastard. Seventeen years ago, a snail traveled down a narrow path in the park. If that snail hadn't been there, perhaps all of you here would have lived a completely different life than you did. Just one small snail, and everyone's lives, even the world, changed. So, what's the big deal? Oh, would you, would you just quit talking nonsense? I'm so glad you were safe. Of course we were. You all have shifted in from another history. Whatever. We gotta call the cops. And what exactly will that accomplish? Isn't it obvious? We're throwing you in the slammer. And my crime? Murder. Murder? I see. But I haven't killed anyone. Specifically, in this history, not a single person has died. I strongly doubt the police will listen. In the other histories, you... Did you not pay attention? I don't have the ability to shift. The only reason I know anything of those histories is because I don't have to. In effect, the me you know is a different person. One I be charged for killing someone in another history? If so, then I'd say this world would be full of criminals of all kinds. What about conspiracy to commit? Yeah. I'm betting this history's got a bunch of dangerous machines and gimmicks all over the shelter. Unfortunately, I have removed them all. You've slept for quite a while. Nothing is left in the shelter. No transporter, no quantum computer. Loaded into a truck and taken away. Sean is able to move right now due to radio signals received from a satellite. Why, aren't you happy? I say again, in this history, not a single person has died. Vi and I exist, and there will never be an outbreak of radical sex. There is only a bright future ahead for all of us. Is this not what you'd call a happy end? What? 
according to you, all of mankind will die if time passes and, and nothing is done. Religious fanatic, a terrorist attack that sparks a nuclear war. I heard this story. You said you released Radical Six so that you could kill that person. The me before you did not say that, but I can't deny it's true. Radical Six won't spread throughout the world in this history. That means that fanatic guy won't die. Wait, so now humans will go extinct? Hey, where's that happy future you mentioned? Interesting. Does that make you angry and fine? What? If so, then we have a serious contradiction. I had prepared a future in another history where two billion would survive. But yeah, you decided to jump to this history. That means you chose a future where humanity goes extinct, over six billion dead. No, you're wrong, Delta. Nothing in the future has been determined yet. We'll shape the future with our own hands. Huh, you said something I can get behind, Carlos. I think so too. I agree. Okay, me too. Mira, you're right. The future has infinite possibilities. If we work together, we can accomplish anything. Humanity's gonna die out? Screw that. We'll definitely change that horrible future. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Just that. What the hell do you mean? I'm sure I told you in another history that my motives are complex. Imagine. What if none of you had experienced the events that occurred in the shelter? You're so determined now to change the future. One of the goals of all of this was to get you into that frame of mind. It's all going according to plan. Without a single casualty, I create a future where mankind will be saved. Does that upset you? Are you angry that your life was played? Very well. I will give all of you one last choice. With that gun there, you will be able to choose whether to kill me now or allow me to leave. I promise I won't use mind hacking on you. You are free to decide. Which shall it be? Pull the trigger, or let me go. The fates of you, me, and mankind are all on the line. This is the decision game. <laughs>